this video we're going to continue simplifying equations and then uh, 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 simplifying both equations on both sides and then solving so we'll do these two examples on page 5 and then these two examples on page 6 Okay. so looking at page 5 please write this one down 5y minus 4 times y minus 8 uh, minus 2 equals negative 1 times negative 1. Please, please write that down. And we'll do this one together and then hopefully you can do the, the next one by yourself. Okay, so I hope you've got it written down. And um, the trick with this, of course you've got to simplify both sides. The trick with this one is to see that, first of all, you can't just do 5y minus 4. Why not? Why can't we just do 5y minus 4? Okay, so these are not like terms. These are 5 yo-yos minus 4. This is 5 yo-yos minus 4 dollars. These are not like terms. You can't put them together to make one anything. Okay? That's one reason. The other reason is, look, you've got to multiply first anyway. I mean, because of PEMDAS, PEMDAS says you've got to multiply, right? When you're simplifying or, or calculating stuff, you've got to multiply before you subtract anyway. So we have to apply the distributive property, okay? We have to apply the distributive property first. We have to multiply. Now, this is a 4, but it's really a negative 4, because this is really a 5y uh, plus negative 4 times that thing, okay? And if you want, just change the subtraction to plus negative, and now it might look better to you. It might look, okay, that's 5y plus a negative 4 distributed into here and here. Okay? And that's a good way of looking at it. So negative 4 times y gives what? Negative 4 times y, negative 4y. Negative 4 times negative 8 is what? Negative 4 times negative 8 is plus 32. Okay. Then you can just write out the whole equation again, whatever else you haven't done. 5y minus 4y plus 32 minus 2. And you can calculate the right hand side. That's it's a completely different problem over here. So what's negative 1 times negative 1? Write it down. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Okay. So just write out the equation and then just keep going from here, okay? So by all means, press pause and continue from here or just race me and see if you can get the answer before me, okay? But the hard part is done. That was multiplying in the negative 4. Once we've got that, then I think you're okay for the rest. You put the y's together. 5y minus 4y gives how many y's? 1y, or just y, right? What's 32 minus 2? 32 minus 2 is just positive 30 equals 1. Okay, so all you have to do now is deal with the get the y by itself. So you've got y, you just have to get y by itself. So get rid of plus 30. How do you get rid of adding 30? Subtract 30 from both sides. Okay, and that gives 30 minus 30 is. 0 and you just have 1y or y equals what's 1 minus 30 positive 1 and a negative 30 make 30 negatives 1 positive put them together negative 29 y equals negative 29 okay and to check this you would plug the negative 29 29 into here and here and as I said before always check your answers on tests and please check your answers on some of the homework questions uh, probably the even ones just to uh, some of the even ones just just a few just so that you have practice in checking your answer okay so write this down 9y minus 8 parenthesis y minus 1 minus 10 equals 3 times negative 1 Please write this down, then press pause and do the whole thing yourself. Okay, please write this down. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it yourself. I'm going to go through it now in case you need help. 
really the trick with this one is dealing with with this part here I mean you've got to know that nine yo-yos minus eight dollars you can't subtract these are not like terms so this doesn't make one anything okay um, and also because of PEMDAS, PEMDAS says when we're calculating stuff we need to sub we need to multiply and then subtract so we can't subtract right away anyway okay now the the 8 needs to be multiplied in here and here but it's not just an 8 it's actually a negative 8 because this is 9y plus negative 8 times that okay so you're actually multiplying in by a negative 8 negative 8 times y is negative 8y what's negative 8 times negative 1 positive 8 and I think that's really the hard part done and you might be able to do the rest yourself so by all means press pause and continue from here and get the answer okay I'll do it now so like you just have to write out the rest of the equation and what's 3 times negative 1 anyway 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 right and then on the left hand side you just need to add like terms <laughs> so what's 9y minus 8y 9 yo-yos take away 8 yo-yos gives 1 yo-yo right what's positive 8 minus 10 8 positives and 10 negatives make what 8 positives 10 negatives 2 negatives y minus 2 equals negative 3 okay and then go ahead and uh, get y by itself. How do you get y by itself? You've got to undo subtracting 2. What's the opposite of subtracting 2? Adding 2. Now if you add 2 to the left hand side, you must add 2 to the right hand side. And on the left hand side, negative 2 and 2 make 0. So you're left with y equals and on the right hand side negative 3 plus 2 3 negatives 2 positives 1 negative y equals negative 1 and if you check that out it should work okay so you'd be plugging negative 1 in for y here and here okay on to page 6 please write this one down 2 parenthesis 4m minus 4 minus 7 parenthesis m minus 1 equals 1 minus 2. Please write this out and then we'll go through it step by step. So after you've got that one done we're going to look at, I'm going to hopefully you'll be able to do the next example by yourself. So we'll write this one out and try it. So I hope you've got it written out I'm going to go through it now. So the first thing you've got to do is distributive property, obviously, right? We've got to take the 2 and multiply it against this and this. 2 times 4m is what? 8m. What's 2 times negative 4? Negative 8, right? Then we've got to multiply in by 7 here, but it's not just 7. It's a is that a positive 7 or a negative 7? See, that's a negative 7. You've got to multiply by negative 7 here and here, right? And that's the trick. If you want, you can write the subtraction sign as plus negative, and that might make it look, look more obvious that you actually have to multiply by negative 7 plus negative. Do that if you want to. You don't have to. So it's this thing plus negative 7 times that, right? What's negative 7 times m? Negative 7 times m? Negative 7m. What's negative 7 times negative 1? Negative 7 times negative 1 is plus 7, right? And on the other side we have 1 minus 2. What does that make? If you have a dollar and you subtract two dollars, what do you get? 1 minus 2. 1 positive, 2 negatives. 1 plus negative 2. 1 positive, 2 negatives makes negative 1, right? So now that's the hard part done. You know what to do next. Please finish off the question all by yourself. And then I'll do it. 
So you know what to do now. Press pause if you need more time. I'm going to go through it now, but you should be able to do it by now. You've got 8m minus 7m, which makes 1m, right? You've got negative 8 plus 7. 8 negatives, 7 positives. What does that make? 8 negatives, 7 positives, 1 negative. Negative 1 equals negative 1. Okay. So it's m minus 1 equals negative 1. Does that make sense? Just got to do it one step at a time. And now get m by itself. How would you get the m by itself? You would add 1 to both sides. Okay. So negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And on the left I still have m. So I have m equals a negative 1 plus 1. What does that make? So don't forget on the right hand side you've got to put in a number. It's not just nothing, it's actually a number and negative 1 plus 1 is the number 0. Okay. So in the world of math nothing has a number assigned to it at 0. So write down 0. m equals 0. And this should check out. So this would be 0. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Negative 7 times negative 1 is positive 7. So negative 8 plus 7 is negative 1. So that does check out if you plug 0 in for m. Okay. So write this one down, press pause and do it all by yourself. Negative 9 times m minus 1 minus 5 times 3 minus 2 m equals 2 minus 3. Press pause, write it down, do the whole thing yourself. Okay, I hope you've had a chance to do it yourself. It's a good thing to do because if you make a mistake on the video, that's great because you get to watch the video and see where you went wrong and learn something before you hit the homework. So, we should have taken the negative 9, that's a negative 9, and multiplied that in here and here. Did you do that? And that would give you negative 9m, and then negative 9 times negative 1 is plus 9. Okay. Then we should have taken the negative 5, this negative 5, and multiplied that in here and here. Okay. Negative 5 times positive 3 should have been negative 15. Negative 5 times negative 2m is a positive. That's a positive 10m. Did you get that? So check, fix that if you haven't got it yet. And what do you get on the right hand side? It's 2 minus 3. $2 subtract $3. You have $2, you spend $3, you have how much? Or 2 plus negative 3. 2 positive, 3 negatives. Negative 1. Okay. So that's really the hard part done and you should be able to finish it off from here. So go, if, you, if you haven't done so yet, please press pause and finish the question from here. Okay, I'll go ahead and do it now. So negative 9m plus 10m is 1m, right? M. 9 minus 15. Positive 9, 5, 9 positive, 15 negatives. 6 negatives. m minus 6 equals negative 1. Okay? By the way, you could have written that negative 6 plus m. That's also correct. Anyway, m minus 6 equals negative 1. To get m by itself, we add 6 to both sides. So m equals because negative 6 and 6 is 0, and negative 1 plus 6 is positive 5. So m equals 5. And I'll just go ahead and check that just to show you how to do it. So We'll just go ahead and check this one. Negative 9 times 5 minus 1 minus 5 times 3 minus 2 times 5 equals 2 minus 3. Okay, so we're plugging 5 in for m. Okay, so that's negative 9 times 5 minus 1 is 4 minus 5 times uh, this is 3 minus 10 equals 2 minus 3 is negative 1. This is negative 36 minus 5 times negative 7 equals negative 1, negative 36. Negative 5 times negative 7 is plus 35 and that equals negative 1 and this and this makes negative 1. So we should get negative 1 on both sides if we plug in the answer of m equals 5. Okay.
So that is correct. 